Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the properties of parallelogram. Let's start with the first property. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So let us use this parallelogram A, B, C, D. So opposite sides, our opposite sides here are A, B and Opposite to it is CD. We also have AD and BC. Now, following our property number one, they are congruent. So, opposite sides are congruent. So, we can say that AB is congruent to C. C, D. And A, D. A, D is congruent to B, C. Okay. That is our property number one. To further understand, let's have our problem number one or example number one. Let's say we have in parallelogram Q, R, S, T. Q, T is equal to 5x centimeters. And RS is equal to 2x plus 15 centimeters. Find the length of RS. Now, to visualize, let's illustrate first. So we have parallelogram. And we have QRST. Okay. QRST. If you write your parallelogram like this one, QR, S, T, that is wrong. Because all the consecutive vertices must be in proper position. So QR, S, T. Okay? Now, QT, so QT is 5X CM. And RS is 2X plus 15 centimeters. Find the length of segment RS. Now, property number one states that opposite sides are congruent. So we know that QT is congruent to RS. Now, so for X, QT is 5X is equal to 2X plus 15. Addition property of equality, so 5x, move positive 2 from the right going to left, so that will become negative 2x. Is equal to, just copy 15. 5x minus 2x, that is 3x, is equal to 15. Now divide by 3, so x is equal to 15 divided by 3, that is 5. Since we have a value for x now, we're going to find rs. Segment rs, that is 2x plus 15. All you need to do is to substitute the value of x, that is 5. So 2 times 5 plus 15. 2 times 5, that is 10 plus 15. That will give us 25. The unit is cm, so we need to write cm. Segment RS is 25 centimeters. Now let us proceed to our example number two and number three. Now let us proceed to example number two and number three. Number two, quadrilateral TQRS is a parallelogram. Find the value of X and the length of QR. So we have here TQRS, the parallelogram TQRS and the given length of each side. Now, this is a parallelogram. Property number one, opposite sides are congruent. So, we know that TQ, uh, QR, is congruent to TS. Okay. Now, substitute the given. QR is 3x plus 8 is equal to 
6x minus 13. Now, solve for x. We have 3x minus 6x is equal to negative 13 minus 8. Now, 3x minus 6x, that is negative 3x, is equal to negative 13 minus 8, that is negative 21. Finally, to get the value of x, we need to divide by negative 3. Negative 3. So, x will be negative 21 divided by negative 3, that is positive 7. Okay, positive 7. Now, we can get the value for qr. So, qr in our given, that is 3x plus 8. Now, we have a value of our unknown x. So, we have 3 times 7 plus 8. Now, 3 times 7, 7, 14, 21 plus 8. That will give us 29, our unit C. So, qr or segment qr is equal to... 29 cm. Now, example number 3. So we have our given parallelogram A, B, C, D, and we have the corresponding, corresponding sides and their uh, given. We're going to find A, the Y, B, uh, A, the X, B, Y, C, segment B, C, and D, segment A, B. Now, let's start with x. So, we know that opposite sides are equal. So, we can say that AB is equal to or congruent to CD. CD. Then, substitute the given. 2x plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 7. Now, solve for x. So, if you want... To move positive 2x to the left, so copy 3x, move positive 2x, that will become negative 2x. Now we have copy 2, move negative 7, that will become positive 7. So 9 is equal to x, or x is equal to 9. Okay. Now we have the value for x, which is 9. Now solve for y. So we know that bc is congruent to ad. Okay. The value of BC is 2y plus 2. That is equal to AD 3y minus 11. Now again, 2, move, that will become positive 11 is equal to 3y minus 2y. 2 plus 11, that is 13 is equal to y. Okay. Since we have values for x and y, we can now get BC. So BC is 2y plus 2. Just substitute 2 times. Our y is 13 plus 2. So we have 2 times 13, 26 plus 2. BC is 28. Okay, 28 units. While AB, AB is... 2x plus 2, so 2 times our x is 9, plus 2, so 18 plus 2, 20 units. So the value of, of segment AB is 20 units. So that is our property number 1, opposite sides of parallelogram are congruent.